Welcome back. Today I wanted to make a landing pad for my husband's drone or a mini helicopter landing pad. After designing in Tinkercad, I started the print on the Prusa XL. I didn't realize how boring it was going to be to film a black square printing on a black printer, but here we are. The design is 14 inches by 14 inches and half an inch thick. I chose to print it in PLA because this is just something he'll set down when the drone takes off and lands. I used the 0.4 layer height with 20% infill and a 0.6 nozzle. Came out as a 13 hour print. Came in to check on it and noticed that the top layer is not smooth. In the corners it is really bubbly, warpy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let it finish printing and see how it turns out though. I was able to get the filament unloaded and reloaded with the new color without any issues on this print. As always, I do have other Prusas running in the background, so there is other noise going on. The red color change seems to be sticking, so I'll go ahead and let this finish. I really like how the design came out. The colors are very bold. It looks really nice on the design, but the print did not turn out great. On both of the corners on the front, it warped pretty heavily, and you can see that that's what caused the uh, top layer to just not look very smooth at all. You can see the warping there. And actually the top layer looks like it almost pushed out over because it was so squished. It warped pretty bad. This was cooled enough that it really just popped right off the print bed. The back corners are also warped. Not quite as much, but they're still pretty ugly. So here's how it looks from above. You can see the corners. Both sizes of the drone fit well. They look good. And this print will work, but I'm really disappointed with how much it warped. What would you do differently to hopefully help it not warp next time? Would you change the infill? Would you change the layer height? I did print with the infill angle at zero because I wanted the lines to be smooth instead of diagonal. And maybe that affected the print overall. I don't have a draft shield yet. They're not available, but the room that it was in did not have the AC running at the time. Let me know your thoughts on what went wrong, what you would do differently next time. Thanks for watching.